Hey boys, welcome back to some Seagulls 2019 career mode, and we are off to a to a flying start. For and against is an amazing. We haven't we haven't uh, flogged any teams. They've been close games, but I feel like we've been in been in good form, and uh, they've been fairly comfortable. Like the you know the the opposition are getting back close, but we've been pretty much in control. As the Warriors here, they do still have Nicole Clockstad who has been a revelation at the Raiders, and, uh, you know, sort of knew it coming through. Obviously, it's easy in hindsight, but the few games he played on the wing for the Warriors, he looked like a very, a very capable first grader. And, uh, you know, you sort of think that with the Warriors. They have so much talent in some of their young players that it's sort of like, where do they go? Like, <laughs> they just languish in, in uh, reserve grade. Like, a good example, Adam Kieran who started out the year with the Warriors in the halves, um, he looked really good. He looked like a really solid half. And then, obviously, they had a couple of... I, I still find it weird that he got dropped to begin with. I felt like it was a little harsh. Uh, he was... I thought he was very, very good for them. Uh, then that meant Chanel harris Tavita came into the side, and he's obviously proven he's, uh, he's a very good player as well. Um, and then it just beggars... The be like beggars belief. Why did they? Why did they sign Nikarima? <laughs> like I like Nikarima, and I think he he sometimes is, you know, criticised a little bit too much for what he is. I do think that he's probably better as just like a like a utility bench player. Honestly, like he, he is a good half, but I don't know. Having him to come on as your number fourteen, I think is would be amazing for your team, but, you know, he's probably too good a player to be a bench player, but, yeah, I mean, that that's a, that's a tough one, um, but getting back to it, like, they obviously, as we're already, unfortunately, RTS is going to score the first try of the game, we, uh, we almost opened them up, but I tried to get the pass back to DCE there and, uh, got knocked down, um, but, yeah, that, that meant, you know, signing Nikarima, it meant Harris Tavita, was then out of the team. Obviously, recently, he's been sort of on the bench. He's, he's played a few games. But, uh, you know, those two guys, Kieran... I feel like Kieran's the... the um, he's sort of the one gone. <laughs> and I thought he was a really good player as well. So, I just sort of... I just sort of think, like, how many, how many of these good kids do the Warriors have in their system that they either don't play or don't really fulfill their potential because they don't leave New Zealand. I don't know. But uh, they obviously, they got some talent. Obvi I mean, it's the only team in New Zealand, so they, they've got to have a fairly big player base to pull from. Obviously, it's not a huge country, and Rugby Union is the is obviously the uh, the go-to for the Kiwis. But, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting to think about. And... Something I don't know. Maybe maybe other teams could try to poach some of their players. I know the because the Warriors always they do like to bring a lot of Australian players over. Or no, I don't know. They they don't have that many Australian players in this team. Is right here. Beautiful play. <laughs> that was that was good play. Um, I knew it was coming. Like it's a fairly predictable play from the AI, but it just worked. <laughs> <laughs> that one just worked an absolute treat for them. There was a massive hole in the middle of the ruck there and just straight through Peter Hickey. So 12-0 to the Warriors. We have been abysmal. So coming off two back-to-back -back wins, one of the better starts we've had playing this game. Usually we start off pretty poorly in the seasons. Um, <laughs> the second half has started out worse than we could have imagined. Lachlan Burr is just going to barge his way over and Nicole Klockstad kicking goals here. It's going to make it 18-0. 40 odd minutes gone. <laughs> We're going to have to turn. We're going to have to turn it on at the back end of this game. Beautiful hands there from uh, from a couple of plays. Gets it on to Ruben Garrick on the wing here. As uh, we're going to press, hopefully, you know, score here. Game is on for sure. It's a beautiful ball there to Pauk. It's absolutely met. I don't know who that was. Was it RTS? Good Lord. Uh, but a kick goes through off the upright. Cade Cust is going to pick up our first try. A bit, you know, a bit scrappy, a bit sloppy. Um, but we'll take it, dude. It was it was a good play. It was a well-placed kick. You know, kicking at the post is obviously very tough for a fullback. 
because you don't know where it's going to bounce, you know if it's going to hit the upright, and that time it, it bounced perfectly into the hands of the kicker in Cust, and Ruben Garrick is going to make it a uh, 12-point game once again, so we've you know, we, we've eroded that, that second half try, which is good. It's a beautiful play here. Frank Winterstein bursting through as uh, he gets pulled up there. So third tackle. We're on a bit of a bit of a roll here. Got some momentum going. His DC puts in a little chip and chase. He gets it back. And I uh, couldn't link up with any any support players there. But still, only four tackles. Still a couple left to work with. Nice little inside ball. K cast onto Dylan Walker. Going uh, pretty close there, 10 meters out. Going to look to put in an attack and kick here with Cust. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a bomb. Tommy Trebojevic, well placed, but uh, it's going to be RTS getting above the pack. Good little contest that Roger and uh, Tom Trebojevic. So um, RTS, he's, he's definitely had the the wool over or the wood over uh, Tommy in this game so far. But a beautiful offload from uh, Dylan Walker to Ruben Garrick. It was a huge effort from the Warriors to get back and defend that. And then we had to throw it out of the back because I thought it was going to go over the sideline and again the ball movement honestly the back end of this this game we're looking pretty good in attack but the Warriors defense has been outstanding and then the kick through Solomon Carter is gonna race away here and he's quick he's quick for a big man um you know your nuggety type player he's very very quick and uh, Dylan Walker can't make the distance there so that's uh that could punch of the sails right there for us we were, we were on a roll we were having a lot of possession momentum was was uh was going well and then a try like that is uh is deflation for sure as uh obviously Carte has gone to the storm where you know probably do pretty well is right here fine again <laughs> we can't we can't run through the warriors so we're gonna have to uh rely on the kicking game and it's it's worked pretty well so far <laughs> again a little bit scrappy but we'll take it we're still there's still a chance score score in the next couple of minutes who knows um tom jaboyevich goes straight through here up against his opposing fullback gets taken there in a good tackle from uh, i think peter hiku coming across um, as uh, we're going to look to attack the blind side. I was looking to open up the gap Peter Hiku would have been, but I couldn't get the pass away with Cherry Evans as uh, Corsia gets it back to Waddell. Fifth tackle, got to gotta do something here. This is our last opportunity, really, as uh, Cherry Evans puts in a little kick. It's a bit of a shocker. Blake Green is going to take that one. Obviously, a former Seagulls player himself. As uh, the kick from the Warriors there, it's a shocker. <laughs> it's gone into the arms of Tom Dreboyevich. RTS is giving chase, but he's not going to make the ground. And all of a sudden, Tommy Turbo, he's come alive in this game, and he's he's fatigued. <laughs> like, I was actually shocked that we made it. We have no stamina left. Uh, and poor old Tommy's legs, but he's come up with a big try. And with this kick going over, we're going to have a couple of plays left. To, uh, to potentially snatch a draw or a golden point anyway. So we're spreading out to the left, back on the inside. Nice ball movement. We get on to... Oh, if we could have just... If I could have just hit Dylan Walker with that initial pass and on to Garrick, we could have maybe done something. But the Warriors, too good. We were pretty poor in this game. Did well to actually get back to 18 points. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.